Hi, my name is Christian Best, and I'm here at Data Center World with Green Revolution Cooling, here to show off our liquid submersion system. And just to give the 30 second pitch, we have a demonstrator here, which can show we're basically taking a 42U rack that normally stands upright, and we're setting it on its back. And that's a couple of big advantages. Uh, one is that we get rid of all the infrastructure associated with air cooling. That includes uh, cracks, chillers, raised floors, uh, and all that capital equipment. Secondly, we can save uh, power at a rate of about 45% uh, when comparison to even your best-in-class data centers. So it's, uh, so it's a lot cheaper to run, and it's a lot cheaper to buy. And uh, the demonstrator here, we have uh, basically an IBM uh, 1U unit. And, uh, it, and if you zoom in, you can see that it's uh, the tin liquid here. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's, so the liquid should be a little bit higher, but it's, uh, kind of things don't aren't always optimum for uh, the trade show. I mean, right, sure. didn't ship enough oil. But uh, but to show you, it's it is uh, basically an IBM unit that has been shipped uh, from the factory. We've done uh, a few basic things. Uh, one is, of course, we remove the CD-ROMs, which I think most data centers are running these days. Uh, second is we remove the fans, which saves you about 8 to 25% uh, of the power in your system itself. And uh, the third thing is that there is a grease uh, underneath the heat sink, which we change out with something that's uh, more compatible for coolant. But other than that, it's a bone stock system. Oh, I one other thing I should say is the uh, hard drives. We do coat the hard drives uh, in a shell. Uh, uh, what you can see is a standard. Uh, this is a standard Seagate Barracuda drive uh, that we have coated, and this thing is ready to run in just about anything you can throw at it. So, so what can you tell me about the uh, about the coolant that you're using here? Uh, the coolant is uh, it's non-toxic, it's non-corrosive, uh, and of course it doesn't conduct electricity, so it's uh, safe to stick anything you want at pretty much any voltage. Uh, people have been using this type of uh, coolant for a long time in the electronic industry. They've been using this in, uh, let's say in, the, in the power industry for almost 50 years inside of transformers. Uh, there is a number of other uh, computer manufacturers that are sticking this in their equipment. So what we're doing here is not necessarily uh, you know, first ever. We're, what we're the first to do is to be able uh, to provide this technology in a framework that allows for tremendous energy saving and tremendous cost saving. So, so what kind of uh, uh, end users are interested in this, and, and uh, what kind of do you have any installations uh, thus far? Uh, we are a startup company, so this has been on sale for about three or four months, and uh, the first installation here is going to be three weeks at Texas Advanced Computing Center. Uh, and so, the kind of people that will be interested in this uh, are those who are running the real high performance uh, computers, uh, all the way down to. Let's say you know people that just have uh, one U, uh, one U rack or two U racks. They're just tired of paying a lot of money for their cooling. Okay, and and uh, what about uh, some of the? Uh, uh, is it easy to clean uh, in terms of the, the the servers and maintenance? How does all that work? So uh, that's one of obviously our, our biggest things that we had to, to prove to our customers, which is uh, this is reasonable to use. So uh, we have a video demonstration available on our website. We also have it here, and, uh, and you can see that it takes you know uh, a few seconds to pop the thing out, to pop the components out, stick it back in. But you'll find that you don't have to wait for it to drain. Uh, it's not tremendously messy. Uh, you know, I think at the last trade show we had, we were all wearing khaki pants, and because of the skepticism, we traded, we pulled the system out about every five minutes, um, and we really you know, didn't have any problem with that. So we encourage people to go to our website at uh, grcooling.com and see, you know, the video of us pulling out a, uh, a server. Okay, Kristen. Thanks a lot for taking the time to talk with us about it. Thank you.